single incision laparoscopic low anterior resection combined with natural orifice surgery using prolapsing technique. When we perform single incision laparoscopic low anterior resection, it is often technically difficult to cut the lower rectum by endoscopic linear stapler because we need to insert some surgical devices through the same access platform. We recently applied Northwood's prolapsing technique to overcome this technical difficulty in this procedure for 20 selected patients. Now, I would like to present single incision laparoscopic low anterior rejection using Northwood's prolapsing method. A single intra-umbilical small incision is made and a multi-access platform is inserted. The umbilicus is the only point of access to the abdomen for all patients. The operator usually grasps forceps with the left hand and energy device with the right hand, and then gently grasps and lifts the IMA ventrally using forceps held in the left hand. The left coronic mesentery and the mesorectum are mobilized by a medial to lateral approach, keeping the superior hypogastric plexus in view and preserving them. In patients with early stage cancer, like this case, the superior rectal artery is sealed and divided to preserve the left colic artery. The IMV is also sealed and divided at the level of the IMA stamp with the use of a vessel sealer. The working space is then expanded. Absence of breathing contributes to maintaining a good working space and a clear laparoscopic view, especially when performing single port surgery. Identifying the subpatronal fascia is very important. This serves as a landmark for preserving the underlying ureter and glandular vessels. Next, the operating table is fully tilted to the right. By simply incising the lateral attachment, the sigmoid colon and the left colon is fully mobilized. Mobilization of the rectum while preserving the mesorectal fascia is very important. The rectum must be fully mobilized from the retroperitoneum by means of sharp and blunt dissection towards the pelvic floor. The better the mobilization, the more comfortable the division of the rectum. The prolapsing technique is useful when cutting the lower rectum is technically difficult for single post surgery. The first step for this procedure is to divide the mesentery into a corporeal until the bowel tube is exposed to secure an adequate proximal and distal surgical margin. The proximal bowel is then transacted with a flexible laparoscopic stapler. Grasping forceps are then inserted from the anus to secure the staple line of the distal rectum safely. Finally, the distal rectum is gradually abutted and pulled transanally out of the body. Rectal washout and wiping off were performed extracorporeally by the perineal surgeon. This is followed by vertical transaction of the distal bowel with a stapler at a slow speed. 
the inverted rectal stamp can be reinforced with stitches under direct vision. The distal rectum is pushed back into the body. The umbral is usually attached to the proximal colon extracorporeally. An anastomosis is performed by the double stapling technique. All anastomoses are tested by rectal air insufflation. A dry knee tube is usually inserted through the anus and placed at the distal side of the anastomosis. This table shows the surgical outcomes. Nose with prolapsing method was used in 20 rectal cancer patients. Mean operating time and mean breathing volumes were good. Mean harvested lymph nodes were 24. Post-operative outcomes were uneventful. There was no anastomotic leakage in this series. Discussions. Natural orifice surgery with prolapsing technique enabled us to divide the lower rectum more safely and reliably even in this procedure and also reinforce the rectum stamp under direct vision by inversion. All procedures were successful and had no anastomotic leakages. We have experienced 78 laparoscopic low anterior resections using this technique, including 20 single port surgery cases. In these 78 cases, anastomotic leakage rate was very low. Conclusions <laughs>